The New South Wales government has unleashed a world of chaos and confusion with border closure rules that are simply unworkable. The rules the New South Wales government has implemented are draconian. They are poorly thought through, they constitute massive overreach. So far today I've heard from growers who can't get fruit off the trees because seasonal workers who are the backbone of our horticulture sector aren't able to cross into New South Wales. I've spoken to constituents including elderly residents and people accessing cancer services commuting on dangerous Victorian back roads to get between Mildura and Robin Vale because a vital section of the Sturt Highway in New South Wales was excluded from the border zone. We have had people who can't get across the border to provide care to their families and friends. We've had confused and mixed messaging coming from border checkpoints, depending on who you speak to. Advice that doesn't match the written instructions on the New South Wales Government website. Everyone from industry CEOs to MPs to ministers are left bewildered and powerless, while the relevant authorities fob us off and tell us they'll get back to us eventually. All any of us can do is minimise the risk of spreading COVID-19. We can't eliminate it altogether. Measures to contain the spread must be proportionate to risk. The border closure calls into question the whole purpose of our Federation. They are genuinely un-Australian and are putting the lives and livelihoods of residents along the border in the firing line. In the face of all of this, the New South Wales government has not provided a credible rationale as to why these rule changes, which so disproportionately affect our border communities, were necessary. I'm calling on the Premier of Victoria and the Prime Minister to table this matter at the next meeting of the National Cabinet. It's time for the federal government to intervene and stop this madness.